All right, welcome back to one more edition of Boxing I Got It. All right, so today's video, um, it, I'm going to be talking about Chance Crawford. Now, if you guys follow me and you guys are familiar with my videos, you guys know that I consider Terrence Crawford one of the pound for pound greats. Um, but at the same time, I am very strong in criticizing his uh, moves and um, I'm just kind of fed up with him, basically. Um, so, as we all know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, Tim, Uncle Tom Bradley, uh, came out and made some statements on the Crawford card, talking about that Crawford's the pound for pound great, talk about that uh, the PBC boys need to put their pants up, uh, put, the, put their big boy pants on, and uh, fight this man, and all this stuff. Well, you know what? You know what, Tim Bradley? PBC sent their representative over and your boy didn't want the fight. There's been reports that Sean Porter has been given the green light by PBC to make the Terrence Crawford fight. But then yet today, or yesterday, I may add, uh, Terrence Crawford made statements saying that he has no interest whatsoever in fighting Porter. Even though yeah, he admits in his own mouth that it could be the biggest fight of his career. So, what does that tell me? It tells me that Terrence Crawford has no confidence in himself in beating Porter, and that's why he doesn't want that fight. See what I'm saying? Now, you might think, oh, but wait, he wants to fight Errol Spence. He's always pushing for that fight. You know, Errol Spence beat Sean Porter. Well, if you go by the, the triangle theory, you know, then you might be kind of correct on that. But at the same time, you can't go on that theory because... You got to look at it as Crawford's point of view as well as a business sense. Um, it's more beneficial for Crawford to lose to Errol Spence than to lose to Porter. You know what I'm saying? Because if he loses to Errol Spence, you know, people will just say, oh, well, he lost to the best welterweight, you know, in the division. So, it, it, you know, it's okay. But if he loses to Sean Porter, then he can definitely kiss goodbye the Errol Spence fight. And he can definitely kiss goodbye any other super fights that he has in mind. So, that's basically what I'm seeing from this. That's the reason why he doesn't want to make the fight. So, um, these words go out to Tim Bradley. I hope next time you get your get, get some fucking TV time. I hope you go and retract what you said. Apologize to the PVC fighters. Because the person who does not want the fight is your boy. Your boy don't want that fight. Your boy don't want the fight we got to offer. He called, You guys said the PBC fighters. Sean Porter, a PBC fighter. He a PBC fighter. Give him the fight. But you know what? I even got better news. Danny Garcia has came out and saying that he would do the fight as well. But that you got to pay him. You know what I'm saying? You guys go and pay Amir Khan $7 million to fight Terrence Crawford. But then you want to offer $3 million to Danny Garcia, the man who beat Amir Khan, when Amir Khan was Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? When Amir Khan was a shit. You know what I'm saying? And also, you want to offer him that low money when we know that besides Errol Spence, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong, besides Errol Spence, Danny Garcia in the welterweight division and the PBC fighters makes the best numbers. But then you got Bob Aaron going on there saying that nobody wants to see those fights. That that Danny Garcia ain't, ain't a good fighter. That uh, <coughs> Keith Thurman ain't a good fighter. You know, talking all this good shit. Uh, all this good shit. So. Bottom line. I lost all respect for Terrence Crawford. I don't want to hear his mouth no more. I don't want him complaining about bitching about not getting fights or this and that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it anymore. Only thing I want to hear is you announcing that you're going to fight Sean Porter. That's it. You have the whole 2020 to make that fight happen. If not, I'm done with you. I'm not fucking with you no more. Because you know what? You are just petty as fuck and you really don't want to make these fights. And you just trying to... Uh, 
uh, cloud chase off of Errol Spence. Because that's the way I'm going to look at it. You're just trying to cloud chase off the PVC brand. So, either make the fight happen with Danny or make the fight happen with Porter. Personally, I want the fight, fight with Porter. Because I think Porter will kick your ass. And I think Porter got a really good chance of kicking your ass. I think Danny has a, a chance of kicking your ass. But I, I definitely think Porter has a really good chance of kicking your ass. And I would love to see it you in that fight. Why? Because I would like to see Terrence Crawford in a fight that he's going to struggle in. That a fight that he's going to have to like Tim, Tim, Tim said, put his big boy pants up. I want to see him in that type of fight. I'm tired of seeing him in these easy ass fights. And oh, you're going to go on to say, oh, it's just he's that great. He's like Mayweather. He makes the fight easy. No. No. Because he hasn't fought anybody who I consider great. So, Make the fight happen with Porter, or I don't want to hear your mouth talking shit about any PBC fighter ever again. All right? Make the fight happen. Hit the like button, you guys. That's all I got. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think on, on Crawford and uh basically ducking Porter, because that's what I feel he's doing. He's ducking Porter. But let me know what you guys think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.